Prior to performing a deep dive, you've got to get your scuba equipment on. So prior to performing the Windows Server 2012 deep dive, what we'll need to do is get used to this very, very different Windows Server 2012 administrative interface. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by using it to perform tasks that you know how to perform using Windows Server 2008. So here you're seeing me perform the very simple operating system systems administrator task of installing roles. In this case, I'm installing the DHCP server role and the Windows deployment services role. Now, once these roles are installed, of course, we get more familiarity with the interface by actually configuring them to do something. In this case, what we're going to do is configure an IP version for scope. So we launch the DHCP manager and you can see now that we don't use the administrative tools menu anymore, but that the consoles that we're dealing with do look fairly similar. They just have this new theme to them. So we run the wizard and the new scope wizard, again, very similar to what was in Windows Server 2008, but different in its presentation. And we specify a start IP address and an end IP address. So what we're doing hasn't changed. How we do it really hasn't changed that much, but the way it looks when we're doing it has changed substantially. And that's going to be one of the biggest differences in getting used to this new operating system, is just getting used to the way that you do familiar tasks. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this particular scope, which means that this scope will now send out addresses to clients on the local network. The next thing I'm doing, going to do is configure Windows deployment services. And there's a couple of steps involved in doing that. One of the first is actually getting the images that I want to deploy using Windows deployment services across onto this computer. So I create a folder and then I copy them across from the DVD drive that hosts the files. Now, in the actual deep dive itself, when I'm covering topics like this, I will be providing a lot more detail. Here, what I'm trying to show you is an introduction to the sort of tasks that we'll start off with, but then we'll be getting more complicated. Again, I need people to be very familiar with the interface before we start diving into deeper and more difficult topics. And you could see there the new copy interface of Windows Server 2012. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure Windows deployment services and that involves a few basic steps that you're probably familiar with or you might not be familiar with. And what we'll do is we'll adjust the course depending on everybody's familiarity with these technologies. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a deployment share. I'm specifying how WDS will actually respond to client computers that approach it for an image on the network. I'm going to start the service itself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my install images, which are the operating system itself, in this case Windows Server 2012. I will then go and add the boot images, which is what allows a client on the network to perform a pixie boot. During the course, what we'll also do is we'll also talk about different ways of configuring deployment of Windows Server 2012. This is a basic one. We'll look at preparing USB sticks, which is another basic one, but also go into more advanced technologies such as System Center Configuration Manager. So here we add the boot images. The course itself will be very demo and prac heavy. That means that you're going to be learning very much by using it. It won't just be like a, a tech head presentation where you sit in a seat and hear a lot of theory. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting you to actually do a lot of these steps so that you're very familiar with uh, the process. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm creating a multicast transmission and this is the transmission that allows clients to connect and get this server image.
and as you can see that's ready to go. So this is the first of Screencast and the Deep Dive session details are here. It's the Windows Server 2012 Deep Dive which will be held at Microworld Copenhagen on the 19th to the 21st of June 2012.